Now, to run a code scanning, it is a trigger. Now, the trigger could be multiple. The trigger could also be from a push to the repository where you're pushing a line of code into the repository, or someone has asked or triggered a pull request, which is triggered in a manner that it identifies that there is potential vulnerable code in there. Or you can run it on a schedule or you can run it on a scheduled basis. The default is weekly provided by GitHub. Now, code scanning configuration would allow you to change the code scanning schedule as well as the event, but that is also the advanced option. If you decide to go the advanced path of writing your own YAML, then that is definitely the path you can take. Now, prevention is better than cure, as someone said. So if you are able to apply this preventatively or at an organization level, enable it, so that people have the option to do code scanning, you may actually have a shot of enabling code scanning made available for everyone.